Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the new MacBook Air. In this episode, specifically, we're taking a look at recovering your hard disk back to factory settings. That's an unfortunate fact of life. Every so often, something will go really, really wrong with your operating system. And at that point, you can try to fix it, but sometimes you do have to recover back to factory settings. Now, Apple has typically included a disk inside every box they sell, whether it's an iMac or Mac Tower or one of the notebooks that has a recovery disk. So you pop this in, and it'll set everything that's on your disk back to factory settings, wipe it out, and you're good to go again, theoretically, with a very clean drive. Now, the unfortunate part about the MacBook Air, of course, is it doesn't have a CD drive in it. So what they've done instead with this one is they've included a USB recovery disk. So we're going to show you how to actually use this to reset your disk back to factory settings. So the first step, of course, is to get the USB drive out of the packaging. And that's usually as simple as peeling the back off of this and pushing it out. So now we have the USB key. So this is what we use to reinstall the operating system. So you take your USB recovery key and you put it into one of the available USB slots you have on your MacBook Air. The Apple logo will go up. You put it in and push it into place. Now when you insert the USB key, this little window will pop up with the install Mac OS X option. Now you can click through here if your computer is running mostly well, but you just want to reset your machine back to factory state just for whatever reason. In many cases, though, you won't have this option available to you because your operating system may be damaged and won't boot properly, so you have to do this in a different way. So what you want to do is either turn it on or hit restart, and then hold down the option key on your keyboard and just keep holding that. Now what this will do is it'll look for various boot up options when you restart the machine. You see in this case we have the Macintosh hard drive, which is the one built in, and you have the USB key. So you want to select that one to restart. So we'll click on that, and it'll start up the process of loading the recovery application located on the USB drive. Now just as when you're booting from the CD on the MacBook that has a CD, this does take a little bit longer to boot up because it's not coming from the hard drive, it's actually coming from an external device. So it will take a bit longer to boot into this than it would booting up into your operating system normally. First thing you'll see is the option for selecting your language for installation. Choose the one that applies to you. You can hit enter or click on the bottom. Now it'll go through the install Mac OS X dialog box. You'll hit continue. Have a bit of legalese. You'll click agree to that. So we'll click on the drive we want to install to and then click install. It'll warn us if we're not connected to a power source. So in this case, because we don't want anything bad to happen while we're installing, we'll connect the power like so for the rest of this process. And hit continue. And now it'll start the process of installing OS X onto this drive. So it'll take a while to go through this process because it has to go through everything in your operating system and reset it to factory settings. So wait a little bit, and then when you're done, you'll have a machine that's just as good as new. That's it for this episode on reinstalling the operating system on the MacBook Air. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series, and don't forget to check out the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.